Hi everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. The other day we made a video of the 1905 garlic vinaigrette and I promised you we would come back today and make the 1905 salad. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. As promised, we're making the 1905 salad today. In a previous video, we made this 1905 garlic vinaigrette and that is made especially for this salad. And I have to tell you, when I made the vinaigrette, I made my own little version of this salad for lunch that day. It was amazing. And I can't wait to share this with you. So what you're gonna need is a, a nice head of iceberg lettuce. Nothing else will do, you have to have iceberg. Just buy a whole head, take the core out, and then I tore this up by hand. I think it's better to tear by hand, but make sure it's bite-sized pieces. And then what we're gonna add in here, this is, like I said, this is one of those big salads with lots of stuff in it, so it's really, one of my favorites. I have more than a cup of um, grape tomatoes that I have halved. The original recipe, and when you go to the Columbia restaurant in um, Ybor City in Tampa, Florida, they're going to put tomato wedges in here. Well, I had these and need to use them up, so we're gonna use them. And that's the beauty of this salad. It's super versatile, and if there's something you wanna switch up, you should go for it. I have about a cup of artichoke hearts that I chopped up. They're just canned artichoke hearts. I drain them, chop them up. About the same amount of green olives that are stuffed with pimentos. About a cup of julienne Swiss cheese and the same amount of julienne smoked ham. And then I have about a quarter of a cup of grated Parmesan Romano cheese. That's all that goes in here and it's fantastic. Now I've looked up um, videos where they actually are making it in the restaurant and they will make this table side and they will serve it to the whole table. I had so many wonderful comments from people who've actually lived in Ybor City or in Tampa near the restaurant or one of the restaurants, I understand there's more than one, and have been able to go there and enjoy this salad. And it's just, it just makes me happy when I hear people go, I grew up, every Sunday we went there, it, and we loved it, it's just delicious. I had one person uh, comment this morning that they were Colombian, but their relatives were Cuban. So instead of the lemon juice in the dressing, they used to use bitter orange juice, and it made more like a mojo dressing. And I thought that was fantastic. Now. If you don't like Swiss cheese, use something else. If you don't like ham, use turkey or chicken. But you can switch this up to suit your own taste or your own needs or your own dietary restrictions depending on um, what you like to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and build this. So there's our big bowl with our lettuce. And then I'm just gonna tip in all of these beautiful ingredients. Our artichoke hearts, our olives, our tomatoes and I know maybe I have a little too many but that's okay our ham and look if you don't want a julienne just chop it chunk chunk it up it's gonna be good cube it make it make it however you want to make it now I'm going to give this a bit of a toss before we dress it okay now we're gonna go ahead and Give our dressing a good shake and we're gonna pour some on. Here is where, this is a big salad, so it's gonna take a lot of dressing. And we toss again. Once you get the dressing on, it gets a little bit easier to mix it up because everything has, you know, kind of been coated with that olive oil. This smells incredible. And when I tell you that um, when I ate this the other day, it was delicious, uh, there is no joking you there. It is so good. So now we're gonna put in the grated Parmesan or Romano, if you get a blend, that's even better. And we toss it again. And there you have your delicious heritage recipe for 1905 salad. I'm going to put some in a bowl for you and I'll bring you back and we will give it a try. I will have Rick give it a try and I know you're gonna love it. Our 1905 salad, all mixed up and ready to go. This smells amazing, it tastes amazing, and I did want to point out too that this has similar flavors to a Cuban sandwich. So you have the ham and the Swiss cheese, you've got the brininess from the olives, and as well as the dressing, and all those flavors, this, this is kind of emulating a, a Cuban sandwich, so I think that's really cool. And it just has all of those flavors. And I think my friend Liza would be really proud of this. So are you ready to taste it? If I have to. You do. So let's get you a taste with a little bit of everything in here. Mm. 
There you go. Tell me what you think. It's really good. Mm. It's a nice, big, satisfying mm -hmm. salad. Yeah, you, yeah. you can use this salad as a meal. Use this as your dinner or your lunch. That's mm -hmm. what we're going to do. We're going to have this for lunch today. Mm -hmm. You really don't need anything else. Maybe some garlic bread or a roll or something, but you don't even really need that. I think it would be good with some croutons in it, but that's that's my opinion. I don't want to defile the original recipe, and I do consider this a heritage recipe because the Columbia Restaurant has been making this salad for 100 years, which is really incredible to me. It's become an icon in Ybor City, where I have never been. I'm just here sharing a recipe that I really found interesting. Um, the background of it I thought was amazing, and I figured I had never heard of it. So I'm sure that there are lots of you who had never heard of it. So I wanted to share that with you. So I hope you give this 1905 salad a try sometime soon and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.